Pray. I owe him praise. 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 I owe him pra
praise the Lord. I owe him praise. I owe him praise. Magnify. Glorify. Be lifted up. Be lifted up. I owe him praise. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Please stand on your feet and receive the woman who is quiet.
Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. I owe God a praise. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I owe God praise. the throne of grace. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day, Lord God. Thank you for another day we've never seen before, oh Lord. God, it was you by your mercy, Lord God, that woke us up this morning, Lord, in our right mind, Lord. Yes, Lord. You kept us all night long, oh Lord. You didn't have to do it, but you did it anyhow, Lord. God, you're so faithful unto us, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we give your name the glory. We give your name the praise, oh Lord. God, we are gathered here today, Lord Jesus, to uplift your holy name, God. Yeah, yeah, we pray yeah. that you hear our praise and prayer on this morning, Lord Jesus. God, God, we're going to give your name the glory, Lord yes, Jesus. Sir. God, forget everything that's in the past, Lord yes, God. Sir. Help us to concentrate, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, and have no distractions on our mind, Lord yes, God, Lord. as we give your name the glory and give yes, your Lord. name the praise, oh Lord. Lord God, use these vessels, hallelujah, God, to give your name the glory, Lord yes, Jesus. Lord. God, we pray, Lord, right now, that God, as the, as the word is taught on today, Lord Jesus, give us something, hallelujah, us God, something, to go on, Lord God. Yes, give us a word of encouragement, Lord God, that we may continue to do your will, Lord God, yes, Lord. and have your way, hallelujah, your God. Way, we thank you, Lord Jesus. God, we pray that anybody that's asking for healing, Lord God, hallelujah. anybody looking for a miracle, oh yes, Lord, God, we pray that you look down from heaven, hallelujah, right now, God, Lord. and let it rain down, Lord let Jesus. Rain, Lord. God, help us, Lord God, as we grow yeah. in you, Lord God. Have your way in this service on today. Yes, in Lord. your perfect, mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, yes. we pray. Amen, amen. and amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, And it reads, praise ye the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary, praise him in the ferment of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him according to his excellent greatness, praise him with the sounds of the trumpet, praise him with the sounds of the harp, praise him with the tremble and dance. 
Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word. Hallelujah. Song from the choir at this time. Hallelujah.
chords for that song. At this time, we're gonna change this part of the service. We're gonna ask Sister Lane to come with our welcome at this time. Hello. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. I believe I heard, make me better, Lord. So we all wanna be made better. So that, to ask the Lord to make us better, that's something we should all aspire to do. Wonderful song, sisters. Welcome to True Vine Apostolic Church of Christ. We're located at 925 Old Buckman Road in the city of Hampton, Virginia. Our pastor is Bishop Terry Jackson. Giving honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to uh, Pastor Bishop Jackson, to our first lady, Sister Paula Jackson, Mother Harris, deacons, missionaries, saints, friends, and my husband. We would like to welcome our visitors at this time, Miss Devon Duncan and her son, Jamaris King, they're the cousin of Sister Love. Praise the Lord, thank you for joining us here today. She reminded me of your sister, uh, Cassandra. We see you, Cassandra. And also, uh, Miss Kimberly Wooden, and she was invited by our very own brother, Isaiah Edwards. Thank you for joining us here today. We also like to see, we happen to see Sister Jackson. I saw Sister Jackson, our very own Paul Jackson's wife. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> and any returning visitors who I did not get their name, thank you for joining us on today. Our First Lady would like to thank everyone who came out yesterday to support the yard sale. The fellowship was wonderful. We had a great time in the Lord. Our pastor cooked up some good fish and some chicken. So we're looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to my fish next week. So come on out. Please come on out on next Saturday from 8 to 3 p.m. and support. There will be another yard sale. Please see Sister Wright to secure your table. The tables are $10 per table with no limitations as to how many you can uh, purchase. This coming Wednesday at 7 p.m., the pastor is asking that we go out and support. Bishop De Banks will be speaking at Tabernacle of Refuge United Apostolic Church, where Pastor Tyrone Riddick is uh, the pastor at 132 Bank Street in Suffolk, Virginia. Come on out and support Bishop Banks is the speaker for that night. And on that Thursday at 7 p.m., our pastor will be speaking. So come on out and fellowship with Tabernacle of Refuge United Pen um, Apostolic Church. Um, let's see. I found a black earbud that it was over in the corner. If this belongs to you, please see me after service and um, I'll give it back to you. Our weekly announcements are as follows. Tomorrow, Monday, and Wednesday from 12 to 1 p.m. will be our noonday prayer. Tomorrow at 6.30 p.m., Junior Utra Christ and Utra Christ will be rehearsing. On this coming Tuesday at 7 p.m., the missionaries and missionary aides will be rendering service. Our missionary president is asking that the missionaries and aides please wear your white and be prepared to sing. The musicians will be meeting immediately after service, so please meet with Brother Trayvon Jackson after service musicians. Next coming Sunday, we'll begin our 50 days of prayer, and more information will be coming. We'll be praying on Sunday after service. However, uh, other days will be at 7 p.m. Continue to pray for the sick and shut and pray one for the other. In Jesus' name, pray my strength in the Lord. We thank Sister Lane for the announcements. We ask that everyone <clears throat> do govern yourselves accordingly throughout the week um, and show yourself faithful. <laughs> at this time, we'll have another selection by the Women's Choir at this time. Thank 
Where the hell? 
doesn't even stand. I give 
give him the glory. I 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 give him the honor. I give him the honor. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. God is. God is. God is. God is worthy of all the praises, of all the honor, of all the glory.
to do it. I've got 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 to do it. Yeah, yeah.
what I do. I'm gonna lift him up. 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 Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Say this what I do. Say this what I do. I'm gonna praise his name. I'm gonna praise his name. I'm gonna lift him up. 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 It's what I do. Say it is 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 what I do. Say 
And in what I do, I got to lift you up. And I got to praise your name. It is what I do, Lord. What I do. It is what I do, Lord. It is what I do, Lord. It is what I do. What I do, Lord, do 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 what I do, say do what I do, yeah, do what I do, praise do what I do, Lord, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, 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 Jesus, hallelujah, Lord, what I do, yeah, do what I do, yeah, praise do what I do, thank you, Jesus, I'm gonna praise your name. I'm gonna praise your name. Hallelujah. 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 Say the word I do. Say the word I do. I'm gonna praise him. I'm gonna praise him. Cause it's what I do. Say the word I do. Say this in my heart. I say this in my mind. I say this in my soul. It's what I do. I can feel them all in my hand. That's it. What I do, I feel them all in my feet. It's what I do. I'm gonna praise Him, cause it's what I do. I'm gonna praise Him, cause it's what I do. I feel them in my feet. I feel them in my feet. I feel them in my feet. Because it's what I do. I feel them in my hand. I feel them in my hands because it's what I do. Because it's what I do. Praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Because it's what I do. Because it's what I do. I'm gonna lift Him up. I'm gonna lift Him up. Because it's what I do, Lord. Because it's what I do. I'm gonna praise Him. I'm gonna praise him Cause it's what I do Because it's what I do Because it's what I do Because it's what I do I feel them all in my heart I feel them all in my heart Because it's what I do Because it's what I do Because it's what I do Because that's what I do That's all I have That's all I am Cause it's what I do, cause it's what I do When I'm feeling low, when I'm feeling low When I'm feeling low, cause it's what I do Praise is what I do, praise is what I do I'm gonna lift him up, and I'm gonna lift him up I'm gonna jump for joy, cause it's what I do Cause it's what I do Cause it's what I do, Lord. Cause it's what I do, Lord. Say it is what I do. I said it's what I do. I said it's what I do. I said it's what I do. Said I'ma walk for the Lord. Said I'ma walk for the Lord. Said I'ma walk for the Lord. Because that's what I do. Cause that's what I do. Because that's what I do. I said he changed my walk. I said he changed my talk. I said he changed my walk. I said he changed my talk. Cause it's what he do. That's cause it's what he do. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Cause that's what we do. 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 We're gonna praise him. Cause that's what we do. We're gonna lift him up. We're gonna clap our hands. We're gonna leave for joy. We're gonna stomp our feet. We're gonna praise him. Cause that's what we do. Cause that's what we do. Cause that's what we do. I gotta praise Lord. I gotta praise Lord. I gotta praise Lord. I gotta praise Lord. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. 
And that's what I do. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. And that's what I do. I'm gonna praise him. I'm gonna praise him. Cause that's what I do. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Cause that's what I do. Cause that's what I do. Hallelujah. Cause that's what I do. Cause that's what I do. I'm gonna praise him. Hallelujah. What I do. Cause that's what I do. That's what I do. I present my body. I live in sacrifice. Holy and acceptable unto God. Cause that's what I do. 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 Hallelujah. Woo! Hallelujah. 
tithes and offering to build up the kingdom. Yes, hallelujah. Lord. Everything we do, hallelujah, we do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes, At this time, we're going to have our offering. In Jesus' name. Amen. Very excited, everyone. Stand with your offering in your hand in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you, God, for this day, Lord. Thank you for this service right now, hallelujah. Thank you for your presence, God. We pray right now, Lord Jesus, you bless, God, all the offering, Lord God. Returns to some 30, 100, 60 fold, Lord Jesus, whatever it is that you see fit, hallelujah. God, we pray that you do it according to your perfect will, hallelujah. In your mighty holy name, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray, amen and amen, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Uh, where Deacon Keely Love is standing is the offering the title. Where I'm standing also is tithing and offering. Hallelujah. In the middle is the speaker offering. Hallelujah. All directions of the Lord.
praise the Lord. At this time, we're going to have another selection by the choir. Hallelujah. And soon after, we'll hear our honorable Bishop Terry Jackson. Amen. to take a trip on that good old gospel ship and we'll go sailing through the air I'm going to
all stand over the building in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, we thank you right now for blessing us. We thank you for being so kind, so merciful to us right now. I realize about you, Lord, we cannot do nothing. You brought us from a mile a long way, and we are standing in need of prayer. It was you that blessed us this far. We thank you right now for all the visitors that came far and near. Lord, we want you to heal and we want you to deliver and save. Forgive us of our sins and our sins. Purge and create in us a clean heart and renew the right spirit within us. We give you all the praise. Let us speak a word to your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Everybody say amen. amen. Come on, give God a praise. We do a little bit better than that. Give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the author of my soul. He's the beginning and the ending. Alpha and Omega, which is which was, which is to come, the Almighty God. The kings of kings, he Lord the Lord. I know him as a mother, as I know him also as a father. The air that I breathe, he gave it to me. It was him, in him I live and move and have all of my beings. Thank God for you. Thank God for my beloved wife being with me in Jesus' name. Yeah. Church. Thank God for the mother of the church, the missionary president, vice president, all the deacons, all the saints of the most high. Thank God for all the visitors that came far and near in the name of Jesus that be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, Sister Jackson, for being with us in the name of Jesus. Yeah. See my man step in. Thank God for I've been praying for you. Oh yeah. yeah. I see you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. He is one of the original that I baptized. Yeah. Oh, when I first oh, when I first God called me out in the ministry, you was the one right. that I baptized. Yeah. Over there in the pool, yeah. in the hotel. We started off in a ballroom. Yes, End up on 1999. But you came to the real church, yes. our home church. Thank God for you, son. Yes. It ain't over until God yes. says it's over. A lot of people throw you under, but it ain't over until God says it's over. He got the last sand in everybody's life. Right. He got the last sand in Satan's life. <laughs> uh, hallelujah to God. I thank God for everybody. I'm not going to move around too much today. Hallelujah to God. My body won't let me move around too much. I want to. But my body said, nope. Hold it right here. I'm going to say something to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I ain't got one, I'm going to be long. Whatever the Lord say, that's all, he, that's all we can say. My father said, when, when, when the Lord's done, you done. Don't force nothing if it ain't there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't try to force nothing if it ain't there. If the spirit ain't there, don't force it. He'll come when he want to come. He move when he want to move. He's the watchman of this house. We living in a time now that people, people uh, think they can do whatever they want to do and go to heaven. People think that this way is hard. On the way is hard. 
because you don't want to live right. Right, right, right. This is an easy road, yes, it but it's a suffering way. <laughs> Jesus said, my yoke is easy. Did it say so? But my burden <laughs> is light. You make it hard, but this is a suffering way. You don't want to give up your habits. You want to do what you want to do, hang out anytime you want to hang out. We have a curfew in the holiness church. Ain't no after hours jumping off. (laughs) Ain't no after hours. We got a curfew. You know what I mean? And we don't come out at night. We out here all day. And, and, and you see, you look around, you see people come, and you see people go. I learned in this Christian journey, when you live, want to live right, you'll stay. When you don't want to live right, you'll leave. I ain't talking about, I'm not particularly talking about this church. I'm talking about the church. Because there's a lot of churches around here, but ain't too many de churches. Because when you res- put restriction on people, you think they got a problem with it. Always got to be protocol and restriction. If it ain't no restriction, we'd be like wild cattle. You cannot go into no courtroom in a way you want to. Oh, talk to me somewhere. The bailiff going to get you and the judge going to say something to you. You going to come in accordingly and you going to act accordingly and you going to dress accordingly. Amen. But when you come to a holiness church, you think you can come and just do whatever you want to do. And you're saying that we are wrong. No, we ain't wrong. You is wrong. The Bible is right. Straight is the gate and narrow is the way. Raw ways lead to destruction. This is not the island. This is the church. Certain places you go to have a drink, uh, a particular dress code. You can't wear sneakers everywhere. Uh, talk to me, somebody. You can't wear sneakers everywhere. Now you can wear a hood now, but now they tell you to take that hood off now. You used to come with the hood because they were scared of the COVID. Everybody was scared there, but now you can take that hood off. I want to see who's coming up in this store. <laughs> take that mask down. Let me see your face. Because I come in the tip, I look like Black Panther. <laughs> I got a black hood on, black mask on Colorado. I look like a Black Panther. They say, who that? Put that thing down, bro. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Skin f- bleeding right in with the mask. Don't believe it? Why? Okay, okay, all right. Bless him, Lord. All right. <laughs> My sister said, "Bless him, Lord." You know what I mean? She said, "Yeah, bless him, Lord." Humble. Yeah, bless me, Lord. Hallelujah to God. It's good. It's good to be among the saints of the living. I tell her, my sister yesterday, she was in the car. She said, look like everybody comes and they go. I said, the Bible say, just a traveler. It just a traveler will come in. You're looking for a whole lot of numbers. Five wise, five foolish. Just a traveler will come here and there. Everybody come in, but that don't mean that they're ready to come in. Too much legitimate, they got too much baggage. Hallelujah. 
and they don't want to get rid of the baggage. A lot of those, you, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to admit fornication still live right. See, you think people think that they could come here and just shack up. Do what they want to do. It's hard. It's hard. It's because you get caught up because you're hard to tell that man no. Oh, y'all. It's hard to tell that woman no because you're used to each other. But when you try to live holy, somebody got to step back. Uh, y'all don't hear that. Y'all don't, they don't hear that. They don't hear that. That's why the scripture said, best to marry than burn. Right. If you got to have that, then get married. Right. Uh, they don't want to go about that. They want that cake and eat it too. You have your cake and eat it too, and you have ATL, your destination. I had to come out of sin, so you got to come out of sin. Everybody got to come out of sin. Right, right. On this Christian journey, everybody got to come out of sin if they want to go to heaven. Right. Amen. It's one way to heaven. Ain't no two way. Right. Amen. I just say I see the highway and a way. Yeah. And a way of holiness. No raven and beast can cross over it. You said the scripture this morning, Father, peace for all men, hold without no man shall see the Lord. Oh, no, my. If I slow my road, hurt myself up here. Let me sit down. Somebody say, You sit down and preach. I said, If I die, let me die. I'm going to keep on preaching in, the, in season, out of season, when you want to hear it, when you don't want to hear it. This ain't my church. This is God's church. I'm just a messenger from the Lord. Okay. Okay. Matthew, the 16th chapter. Let me say something. I'm about to preach today. I sure am. I already said something. I don't I don't mess people hard up already. I don't I don't mess live stream up. They mad at me now. They mad at me now. Two vine opposite started church. You know what I mean? It don't take all that to live holy. What you talking about? If the righteous scarcely is gonna make it, we scared ourselves gonna scarcely make it. What the sinner's gonna do up here? It takes all I got to make it to heaven. Yes, sir. I can't slide my way in there. I got to pray my way in there. I got to live holy. Amen, amen, amen. You can tell somebody when they live holy because you can tell the way they look. The more you're closer to God, the more holy you look. You can tell when a woman ready to cheat. I'll leave that alone. I ain't gonna school you too much. Come on. See, one thing about sin, baby, it have a color. Uh -huh. say so. When you see somebody hold it, it's a shine. Uh -huh. Oh, y'all talk to me here. Uh -huh. But when somebody ain't living hold it, it's a dull look. They can't see it, they can't recognize it. But somebody living holy, the more you get to a brighter place, the more darker you look. You can have on a brand new pair of shoes. Never wore them. But you can wear them to the mall or to the store. And when you go into the store, you pick out another pair of brand new shoes, your shoes look different. Yours look old compared to the new one in the shelf. Two 
another place. This place that been there, see, God don't deal with all this element. He pure. He's still on the case. He's still on the shelf. He not walking through sin. Y'all walk through sin. So when you get close to him, it show you're filthy. You like filthy rags to God. You are purity. It shows your nakedness. It show you how unrighteous you are. All right. It shows you how unpure you really are. And you think you're so holy. And when you get before God, you say, Lord, have mercy. I'm dirty too. He that have clean hands and a pure heart. That's why you really can't judge nobody because your hands are dirty. People, you can't judge me. Don't, 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 don't stop that. Yes, we can judge you. The Bible said we judge within, he judge without. But in order to judge, you got to take the beam out of your own eye. And the Bible said once you take the beam out of your own eye, then you judge. But until then, you got to make sure you have clean hands. Since you, since you ain't commit fornication, use a back bottle. You're going to pick a sin. You're going to pick a choose the sin that you think you would run down on and you dirty yourself. Matthew's the 16th chapter. I'm going to give you something to go home with. Matthew's the 16th chapter. 1 Corinthians, the 4th chapter. Esther, the 4th chapter. Matthew's the 16th chapter. 1 Corinthians, the 4th chapter. Esther, the 4th chapter. Esther. The fourth chapter. You got it? That's the fourth chapter. Can I excuse myself for a minute? Y'all don't mind. Young man, get up and, and aid. Forgive me, but I'm sorry. Y'all forgive me. Yeah, I'm gonna throw this out to y'all for a little bit. Yeah, I mean, men's, you know, especially black men's, uh, black men's. Yeah, I mean, you got to make sure you take care of yourself. Yeah, I mean, black men's always have prostate, enlarged prostate. So don't think that it's not gonna affect you. You're gonna get it, and you already have it. You know what I mean? So when you get into your 40s and stuff like that, you know, back then they say, wait till you're 50 years old, whatever, you know what I mean, check your colon. But sin done increased so bad. Mm -hmm. See? 
and you enhancing. So your men, if you get in your 40s, 45, you more get your colon cancer checked out because it takes a pallet 10 to 15 years to turn to cancer. So if you wait till you're 60 years old, get your colon checked out, it's already cancer. Let me school you on something. So you go get your colon checked out when you're 40, so you can get it checked out. If you got pallets, they can remove it. You know I mean? But if you sit there and let it sit there, don't check yourself out, then you're going to turn to cancer. Once you got cancer in your colon, prostate you have enlarged. Let's school you a little bit. You, know? you, know, you have enlarged prostate, so you make sure you get yourself checked out. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. You don't know how high your PS. A is. You'll do some blood work. You know you go to the doctor and you know the doctor check you out. Oh, there it is. You know what I mean? He do that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But that's not, that's, that's not always the case. You got to get your blood work done and let them send it to the lab to find out your blood work and make sure that you don't, you know, it's not high. If it's over four, five, six percent, you better go somewhere. See, that's something that you have to control. You know I mean? And then uh, that's all the way to reflect your bladder and everything else. All right, that's enough of history. Now. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm telling you, black, we got a lot of black men in here. We got a lot of black men in here, and you, know, you better take care of yourself. You're not too young to catch cancer. Because cancer's already in your body. It's not too, so you got to keep it under control because it's there. Keep it under control. Let your blood cells and white cells work with each other. But go on to the doctor and get yourself checked out. And when you go to the doctor, the doctor can't do nothing. Then you got to come to the Lord to get the healing. <laughs> see, 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 see. All right, all right. You got to come to the healer, though. You go to the doctor. The doctor ain't the healer. All that he do is operate on you. Then he say, go home and rest. The inside. See, 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 see. See, he can't heal nothing inside. He sold things inside. He can sew up things inside, but he don't heal inside. Inside is totally different from the outside. Outside healing the elements and the air, done, but the inside ain't no air getting in there. Air getting there, you might get the pneumonia. I'm going to my word. I'm getting to my That's why when babies, we have babies, stay in the house. You might move it around, but you might get air in you. That's right. That's another school. That's right, Bishop. That's why we teach the woman to stay in the house. That's right. I know, I know society got babies. You having babies, you roam the street, but you having babies by staying in the house because you don't know you can get sick sure enough. It's almost like getting, like getting air in a toothache. That's right. That's right. Come to missionary service. We'll teach you. All right. Romans the 16th chapter. Esther, the fourth chapter. And the 16th verse, what does it say? Go. Go. Gather together. Gather together. All the Jews. All the Jews. That are present. Don't leave me yet. Don't leave me. Y'all don't leave me yet. Y'all here? Yeah. Yeah. Like when I give my preach, like the, like the pews get empty. <laughs> Good God. I went to the restroom and came back. Woo. <laughs> Go. Gather together. Gather together. All the Jews. All the Jews. That are present. That are present. In Shushan. In Shushan. And fast. And fast. Ye for me. Ye for me. And neither eat. It said fast ye for me. That's what it says. It says fast ye for me. Mm-hmm. And neither eat. Neither eat. Nor drink. Nor drink. Three days. Three days. Night or day. Night or day. I, I guess, also. I guess, I guess, I guess, uh. Sunday service coming up, ain't it? Good God. Fast with three days and three nights. What did it say? They all night. Not all day. Mm -hmm. I also. I also. And my maiden. And my maiden. Will fast likewise. Will fast likewise. And so will and I go. And so when I go. Into, unto the king. Unto the king. Which is not according. Which is not according. To the law. To the law. And if I perish. If I perish. I perish. I perish. All right, go to Matthew, the 16th chapter, beginning at the 24th verse. Give me a few minutes. Give me a few minutes. I'll be out your way. Then said Jesus. Y'all got to say amen. amen. Give you a chance to get it. 
You know what I mean? Then said Jesus unto his disciples. Unto his disciples. If any man, if any man will come after me, come after me. Let him deny himself. Let him deny himself. And take up his cross. And take up his cross. And follow me. And follow me. Be on. For who? Soever, for whosoever will save his will life, save his life shall lose it. Shall lose it. And whosoever and whosoever shall lose his shall life, lose his life for my sake. For my sake shall find it. Shall find it. For what is a man profited? What is a man profit? If he shall gain the whole world. If he gain the whole world and lose his own soul and lose his own soul. Or what shall a man give? And what shall a man give in exchange? As a change for his soul. For his soul. May God be blessed to us. Read up this word. Let it seek down in your heart, soul, to your mind. I'd like to leave for you a little topic. You might don't quite understand it, but you'll understand it. Tell somebody it's not about you. It's not even about you. People think it's about them. It's not even about you. He said, Jesus said unto me, in the man come. After said, me. After me. Let him deny himself. He said, let him deny himself. And deny is a verb means to refuse, to recognize, or to acknowledge yourself. Hallelujah to God. You got to refuse and you have to acknowledge, to uh, recognize and acknowledge yourself. Say no to yourself. You have to restrain yourself from gratification of desires. Somebody say, just say no. It's not about you. It's not about you. You got to deny yourself. You got to acknowledge that you the one got to say no in order to help somebody else. And people think it's about them. It ain't about you. It's about God. If any man come after me, he has to first deny himself. You got to refuse and recognize that it ain't about you. Hallelujah. You come to church not for you. You come to church for me. If you do it for me, then you'll get your own self saved. Oh, hallelujah. Could deny himself. He said, what? Take up. And let him deny himself. And let himself him what? And take up his cross. And take up. His cross. His cross. And follow me. And follow me. You got to deny yourself. Then the Bible say, take up his cross. Right. And cross was a symbol, a, it, it, it symbols a, a great suffering or shame. You see, it represents the most painful death ever. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It said, take up your cross. Look what it say. What the Lord telling you to do? Take up your own cross. Mm -hmm. See, it, 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 see it, it's a painful death. You, they was hanging on a tree right. with three nails. Come on. Come on. See, death, cross means death. Right. Painful death. Hanging on a tree. With three nails. You hung there from six to about 30 hours till you bleed to death. Oh, look at here. Look, look, look what Jesus did. You know what I mean? Because it wasn't about him. He said, I come to do my father's will. Not my will, but thou will be done. Tell somebody, it's not about you. He hung there. Hallelujah. Bled to death. And, and, and one thing about it, he was naked to the public or everyone to see. Oh, y'all talking to me, somebody. See, when you, when, you, when you bear your cross, you got affliction, adversity, misfortune. You have mishap. You have tragedy. You have tribulation. You have trouble. You have grief. You have difficulty. You have grievance, you have challenge, hallelujah. You have complication, you have hardship. You have discomfort, hallelujah. It's inconvenient your body. Cross inconvenient you. Make hardship upon you. 
tragedy come upon you when you carry your cross. Affliction come upon you. That's why you look at us and why in the world? See, saints of God got to go through something to go to heaven. Why you took that off? Because God told me to take it off. Hallelujah to God. First Corinthians, I'm about, I'm about done already. First Corinthians, the fourth chapter. Got me sweating. And I'll be cool. Trying to be. See, you have to understand. Paul said, we deem that are strong ought to bear the, ought to bear the affirmities of the weak. You see what I'm saying? Look what it said. We deem that are strong ought to bear the affirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. You see what I'm saying? So when somebody says it's not about you, it's about helping somebody else's infirmities. See, it's in about you. When, it, when you help somebody else's infirmity, when they're looking at you, then God will help you to help your infirmity. Because that's why everybody needs somebody in the church. Amen. Amen. You ain't know no island by yourself. You ain't John. That's Okay, I said First Corinthians the fourth chapter. Yes, right? Then I say that. Yes, Let me get it. And begin reading at the ninth verse. For I think everybody got it. First Corinthians the fourth chapter. Say so you got to take me across and follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. He said what? Nut. He said what? For I think. For I think. Here what Paul wrote. He said, For I think. That God has set forth us. He talking to, talking about God has set the apostles. The apostles. He, he talking about him and the rest of the apostles. That's right. That's Paul right. said the rest of, here, God has set apostles. Last. Last. He didn't set them first. He said, I set the apostles last. That's and we under the apostolic, apostolic doctrine. We believe in the doctrine of the apostolic, the apostle doctrine. And God, here Paul said, we are last. Right. Hallelujah. But God called us first. <laughs> he called us first, but we are really last. Right, right, right. Right, right. Read on. As it were appointed to As death. As it was appointed to death. We was appointed to death for the beginning. Because it wasn't about us. Because we had to take up our cross. Right. Hallelujah. We are appointed last. And we are appointed to death. Read on. For we are made a spectacle. We are made spectacular. Unto the world. Look at here. The, look at here. You see, right. We ain't a possible. But the world, look at church folks and look at them holy rollies. Right. Look at them. They make all that noise. Look at the way they dress it. They don't do this. They don't do this. Look at them. They foolish. Look at their head. Look at them. We are spectacular to the world. I want you, I want you, I want you to be encouraged. You know what I mean? This ain't nothing new. The apostles say, hallelujah, when they God called them first, but they were last. And they were pointed to death. Hallelujah. They were spectacular to the world. <laughs> Thank you, baby. She looking out for she she read me faster than faster than the deep. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. I was just mess with y'all deacons. Don't, don't take that. I was just mess with the deacons, y'all you know I me. Mean? I was just mess with the running deacons. I was just feeling me. See, I got y'all. I got y'all for me. I'm putting that back in the room. <laughs> They fired. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Look 
Okay, all right, all right. Let's some of them looking at me say, "Dang, they they look at me say, dang, funny." <laughs> <laughs> they look at me say, "Dang, funny." You know what I mean? Give me that look. You know what I mean? It sure ain't funny. If you get that look like that, it sure ain't funny. Sometimes you got to be careful how you do things. All right. All right. Because people fail to realize, see, see, this is a true saying. This is God, church. The Holy Ghost read everybody. You just understand. The Holy Ghost read everybody, sis, right? And then when, when the Holy Ghost speak, and they think it's coming from me. And the Lord reading you and telling you just in case you do it again. Yeah. Because this is a spiritual thing. Yes, this is nothing natural. This is a spiritual church. Yes, Everything run by the spiritual. Yes, sir. And we expect the Lord to the world and to else. And to angels. And to angels. And to men. And to angels. And we are spectacular to men. Yes, That's why nobody don't want to live holy. Because they don't want to be an outcast. Right, right. Right, right. But I'm here to let you know I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. You call me holy rolling all you want to. I'm so glad that I changed my nasty way. Yes, sir. Let me be a spectacle to the world. I'm going to stand up and let the world know God is holy. Hear my Lord, send me. I'm not ashamed of you. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to take them off. I'm not ashamed to take them off. Ain't no faggots here. I'm not ashamed. I'm proud to be a God's servant. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You go to school now. You got these young folks go to school. See, you can't, you can't be a witness because you are ashamed of God. Right. You try to blend it with the world. Right. You try to act like the world and be like the world. You can't be. Then when you get around your peers, they look at you. You are ashamed because you got a dress on. You got stockings on. They look at you. Oh, look, you got to do all of that. Look at these folks. What's wrong with you? Then you go home and take everything off and put your nakedness in show. Try to blend it with the world. The Bible says you are specular to the angels and to men. You read it. I'm not reading. You read it. My daughter's They after they the incline. They fast. They can run. My son, they after they the incline. They want that much because they ain't gave me no money yet. But uh, that's, that's another story. Because <laughs> some of them think they were Michael Jordan. Some of them, one of them thought he was Lawrence Taylor. I thought he was Lawrence Teller, you know what I mean? Michael Jordan sitting over there in the corner, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Then we got Kerry coming up in the back. He think he Kerry. But nobody gave me no money. So they really ain't no athlete. They just athlete inclined. <laughs> But what I'm saying, my daughters went to school, and they wanted my daughter to run track. And she was fast. Davia is very fast. Nene is very fast. I don't know about Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. But they were fast. They wanted my daughter to play basketball. Mm -hmm. On the gym and everything like that. But the scriptures say we should not wear nothing pertaining to man. That's what the scriptures say. So what I did, I told my wife to write a 
letter to the people. See, people don't think God. You see, see, you see, you see, you gotta obey. See, they obey the rules, the law. But I heard that Esther said it was against the law to go before the king. See, certain laws you just got to break the world law. Because some of the world law is not God's law. See, don't, oh, yeah, oh, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. So, don't, don't, so I know the preacher said, you got to obey the land of the law. The land of the law so you can get a divorce. But God's law said no. <laughs> See, they obey who they want to obey. If you're going to obey, obey everything. Yeah, yeah. Don't pick and choose what you want to obey with the law. And you running 90 miles an hour on a 55 mile zone. <laughs> don't, 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 don't try me with that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm going to get to my point. It's not about you. I wrote a letter to the school. Elementary school. Middle school. High school. And college. Don't you put them on. And they honor that. Why? It's against your religion. These folks today. They got the shortest short song. So I, see, I, see, I, I mess up every time, don't I? See, I mess up every time. See, you, you do what you want to do. I got, I got to preach what God say. He, he play on me. See, there's certain jobs that women can't do. Went all through. Went all through cool. Don't you put them things on. Hallelujah. I'm going to move it down. I'll give you another example. My daughter-in-law worked at the shipyard. How many years you were there, baby? 15 years. She said she want to marry my son. I said, okay. You might as well go ahead because you're doing everything else. So. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm here. Just get real. Hey, you know that I know it. Stop that flip that you don't know. You know I know what they was doing. <laughs> Why? Because she didn't have the Holy Ghost at that time. What do you think a Holy Ghost folks are going to do without it? Right. Come on, man. That's right. Ain't no shame. Ain't no shame. That's not a shame to her. Ain't no shame to me because I did it. So there ain't no shame. Everybody, y'all did it. You're a nasty tail. No, I like you all. You like you ain't done nothing. Y'all been committing fornication ever since you were nine. Now get in the church like you ain't never done nothing. I'm going to tell you what God can do. <laughs> All of us done that and did that. So then you'll get them to oh like oh like they shop Terry. They gonna be they shop. Cause you didn't have nothing. They ain't had nothing. They were doing their thing. Terry moved out my house. He was doing his thing. Had his own crib. But he wasn't married. My daughter-in-law. I put my daughter-in-law to the side. And I said, she had her own house. Her had his own house. So I said this. I said, you willing to give your house for my son? Now, if you get married him, you know you got to get the house up. Or somebody's name got to be on something. And his name got to be first because if his name is last, I know what you're going to do. You're going to kick him out. Because <laughs> one thing about a woman, a woman is not like a man. Women get, f get fed up, they'll throw your clothes out in the street. 
They be throwing out, ain't gonna treat me like that. He ain't gonna treat me like that. You get on out of here. You know what I mean? I, you, know, you, know, you know what I mean? Then they wanna pick it up through three, three days later and bring it back in. Cause every time a woman get mad at a man, you know what I mean? He gotta sit there and listen to all that mess. But if her name was first, she can't throw him out. She just can fuss. See, but a man ain't going to throw a woman out because that's not our character. I'm talking about a man now. We ain't talking about, we talking about a man now. A man ain't going to throw no woman out because that's, our, that's not our character. You don't throw no woman out on the street. So I told her, I said, you going to make sure, because you know, I know what time it is, bro. Your name got to be first. You know his name got to be first. <laughs> All right. So I said, Terry, you're going to have a little problem with that. Then I asked her another question. I said, I said, you know you got a leadership job. Look, look here, baby. I have to take my hat off to this. You 15 years into the shipyard. Five more years, you get a pension. She always in the, you was in the pension thing. She was already in the pension because it was there. They counseled it, but she was already getting the pension. She would have got lump sum of money here. More than what she did get. She got more. She stayed there and retired. 20 years is something that's a long time. Amen. See what I'm saying? And I told her, I said, baby, you know you have to leave the job. And I said, you got to go talk to your father. Because your father, you the one, got to answer to him. You ain't got to answer to me. But if you want to get right and live holy, you got to leave the job. Forget Mary, my son. If you want the Holy Ghost, you have to leave the job. You can't worry that then go home and change clothes. It's not going to happen. My daughter, my daughter. Right I told her she got to take them britches off to get saved, to get the Holy Ghost. You know what I mean? You got a lot of folks that's in the church, they don't know the whole holiness way yet. Right. So you got to be taught how to live holy. Right. And I told her, she came off the job. And I said to myself, who in the world will walk off a job and lose their pension? That shows, that, that right there shows volume to me, to me. She might have other issues, but that right there shows me volume. If she willing to lose a pension to live holy and marry that thing, Stand up, turn up, other son. That's the one that was fornicating for 30 years. <laughs> Go ahead, bow. I know, I know you want to bow. <laughs> Go ahead, bow. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's a transformation. You know what I mean? It's, I, 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 see, they, it's not, they're not ashamed of that. But she's willing to change. Because it wasn't about her. It wasn't about, she knew it wasn't about her. If it was about her, she would have stayed there. See, it's not about you when it comes to God. Everybody had to do something. I'm sorry to put you out there, baby, because I'm going to use you as a witness for you are my witness. You are one of my living witness. You know what I mean? I know she get mad at me, but you can't whoop me. <laughs> and got power attorney. You know what I'm saying? Got power attorney. You know what I mean? 
Only thing, only thing, I'm going to just throw this out there. Only thing men's got to do is live a zap in front of the woman. The wife is hard-headed and give you a hard time because you was. You, you got to realize it's a spirit of hard-headedness and disobedient. And you're still disobedient to your parents. Then you wonder what your children, you want your wife to be subject, but you disappeared. You disobedient to God. That's another subject. Because I'm about ready to hit that real hard. I really hit that real hard. You quick to tell the woman be subject to you, but you don't honor God. I told somebody, if you want to get your husband, put God on him, the head of him. The head of man is Christ. Put Christ on him. That's all you got to do, women, the sisters, the mothers, the wives. Get around the altar and put Christ on your man. God will put some on his backside. But you got to have clean hands. You got to have clean hands when you come this way. And you want Christ to do something to your man, your, your husband. Your hand might be clean because they'll backfire. I'm sorry, I threw off. I had to throw off on that. You know what I mean? We are what? We are made a spectacle. We are made a spectacle. Unto the world. Unto the world. And to angels. And to angels. And to men. And to men. We don't. We are fools. Look at here. We are fools. For Christ. We are fools for Christ. Say. We are fools for Christ's sake. Uh-huh. But ye are wise. But you are wise in Christ. in Christ. You are fool for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. Because you got the Holy Ghost. You's a wise individual to be saved. All right, now. All right now. But you's a fool for Christ's sake. I'm just as stupid for jumping up and down. I don't care what y'all say. God told me to jump. I'm going to jump. It looks stupid to you, but hallelujah, but I'm wise because I'm obeying him. Because it's not about me. We are what? We are weak. We are weak. But ye are strong. But ye are strong. Ye are honorable. You are honorable. But we are despised. We are despised. Look here, read on. Even unto this present Even time. Even to this present time. We both hunger. We hunger. And thirst. We thirst. And are naked. And we are naked. And are buffeted. And buffeted. And have no certain dwelling place. And have no certain dwelling place. And labor. We labor. Work with our own hands. We work with our own hands. Being revived. Being revived. We bless. We bless. Being persecuted. Being persecuted. We suffer it. We suffer it. Being defamed. We being defamed. We entreat. We entreat. We are made. We are made. As the filth. As the filth. Of the world. Of the world. And are the offscoring. Of the offscoring. Of all things. Of all things. Until this day. Until this day. Read on. I write not these things. I write not these things to shame you. To shame you. But as my beloved son, my beloved son I warn I'm you. warning you what you're going to go through. I'm not writing to your shame. I'm warning you when you live holy, this is what you're going to be like. All right now. All right now. You're going to be despised. Right. Talked about. Hallelujah. We got to be like Esther. If I perish, let me perish. Hallelujah. But I'm going to see that king. Hallelujah to God. I got to make preparation. Hallelujah to God. Y'all know the story. Hallelujah. How Mordecai, hallelujah, didn't bow before that man, Hanum. Hallelujah. He didn't bow before him. Hanum got mad at Mordecai. Hallelujah. He got mad at Mordecai. Mordecai was a Jew. Hallelujah. He tell you, look at here, he wrote a decree. Hallelujah. And that he wanted to kill every Jew. I don't care what it was. You wanted to kill them. Yes. Hallelujah. He went to the king. Hallelujah. Told the king about somebody who wouldn't bow. Hallelujah. King gave him a little blank check and he filled it out. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. And he wrote out himself what he going to do to the Jews. He said, look at here, king, but I put some money in your pocket. Hallelujah. I don't know how much he planned on putting into the kitty. Hallelujah. But I'm going to kill them Jews. You think about it. Every Jew that he killed, he's complicated with their possession. Hallelujah to God. But, hallelujah. but Esther, hallelujah to God. Esther was a person that was already in the palace. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. God put her there for a special reason. Hallelujah. Because the queen, hallelujah, made the king mad because he would not perform. She would not come out when he wanted him to come out. Hallelujah to God. Y'all know Vesta. Hallelujah. The, the king told Vesta to come out. Hallelujah. But she wouldn't come out. Hallelujah. But give me another queen. Hallelujah. But didn't realize Esther was a Jew. Hallelujah. Among all them people. Hallelujah. Hey, she was special. She was beautiful. Hallelujah. But the Bible says she haven't seen the king in 30 days. I haven't went before the king. And, and here the people, this man want to kill all the Jews. I'm going to move quickly here. And Mordecai heard about this thing that this man wanted to do. You always have an inside person telling you an inside thing. I want to know. Think about it, beloved. Somebody had to be inside to know what Haman was planning on doing. Talk to me, right? The inside person wouldn't have told Mordecai. See what I'm saying? And Mordecai, hallelujah, Esther didn't know nothing about it. Because a lot of things happen inside the palace. You still don't know nothing about it. See, see, things can happen behind the scene you know nothing about. The king was blind to the fact he, that he didn't know what was going on. Hallelujah to God. But Mordecai, the Bible says, put the sack clothes on. Hallelujah. And he started mourning. He went in front of the gates. As he went in front of the gates, he moaned. Hallelujah to God. He moaned in front of the gates. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, Esther, hallelujah, heard about with the sack clothes on. And they, he sent a message to told, told Mordecai, put these clothes on. I, I don't want you to see you out in the street like that. But Mordecai refused to take Esther clothes. Talk to somebody. He refused to take Esther clothes. But when he sent back the message, he told Esther, I want you to go before the king. When I go before the king, because the king, this man trying to kill all the Jews all over the world. Hallelujah. He told Esther, you got to go before the king. Hallelujah. I'm going to give you this creed that this man has signed to kill all the Jews everywhere they go. Esther said, I can't go before the king. Hallelujah. Nobody went before the king unless they've been summoned by the king. If you go before the king, you shall surely die. If you don't lay out his hand and that, that sign of the scope and let you know that you'll leave. Huh? But nobody can voluntarily go before the king. Huh? And we just was something to protect the king. Huh? Cause a lot of folks want to assassinate the king. Huh? So they go for him any other time. So it was a rule. A law was made. Huh? The law was made. Nobody go before the king huh? unless the king called them. Huh? That was the law of the land at that time. Huh? But hallelujah to God. Mordecai say, Esther, you got to go before the king. Hallelujah. And it's not about you. Hallelujah. is here at this present time. God put you here at this present time to help somebody else. You got to bear the infirmity of the weak. It's not about you. It's about somebody else. But you got to go before the king. Hallelujah to God. I so say, look at here. I want everybody. Get the Jews. Y'all get together. I want you to get on a prayer meet. I want you to fast. I want you to pray because I'm going before the king. I know I don't suppose to go because I might die, but I don't care. Somebody needs my help. Somebody need a breakthrough because it's not about me, but I understand if I go before the king, if I perish, I just perish. I'm making preparation. Preparation to go before the king. Hallelujah to God. 
What you talking about? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> God did not save you <laughs> just to save you. <laughs> he saved you <laughs> to save your mama. <laughs> he saved you <laughs> to save your daughter, <laughs> your sons, <laughs> your nephews, and your nieces. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you thank God <laughs> saved you <laughs> just to sit around <laughs> and look at me. <laughs> he didn't save you for that. <laughs> Hallelujah to God. <laughs> it's sometimes <laughs> You got to break that law, huh? the law of the land. Huh? I know you can't go before the king. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? How you think you're going to escape? Huh? Hallelujah to God. Huh? How, what profit a man huh? to gain the whole world huh? and still lose his soul? Huh? You profit to gain the whole world. Huh? And you realize what you're saying, Ella Jackson. Huh? What you're saying, Bishop Jackson. Huh? Satan huh? is the God of this world. Huh? And you're doing everything huh? that he wants you to do. Huh? Hallelujah. What profit you to gain the whole world? What profit you to do what the devil tell you to do? Hallelujah. And still lose your soul. Hallelujah. The Bible says you about to feel the one who can destroy the body and the soul. Satan can't destroy the soul, but he kill your body. But I'm here to let the devil know if I perish, I'm going to perish. I'm making preparation. I don't don't care huh, what I got to do. Huh, if I have to strip off huh, all my God, huh, I'm coming huh, before the king. Huh, if I have to take off huh, the regular shoes, huh, I'm coming huh, before the king. Huh, I got to put on uh, the right garment huh, before the king. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> See, Esther, I'm coming on in. Esther knew she could not go before the king with them clothes. See, Esther knew in order to go before the king, she had to take off them beautiful garments she had. And she had put on the, the garment, but Zeneva for the king. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all hit me here. See, see, that's why we strip. Because you can't go before the king with your garment. See, you got to put on the garment presentable for the king. And who is the king? The Lord of Lords. See, see it's not about you. Huh? You have to deny yourself. Huh? And you have to take up your cross huh? if you want to be my disciple. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? You got to be ready huh? to be ridiculed. Huh? You got to be ready huh? to be talked about. Huh? Hallelujah. Huh? Look at them hand-me-down folks. Huh? Look at them folks wearing them long dresses. Look at them. They look stupid. Huh? So what? Huh? I look real stupid. Huh? But I I'm saved and I'm sanctified and I'm Holy Ghost feel and I'm fire baptized and I'm running for my life. If God come back, if the King of Kings come back today, hear my hands. I'm going to heaven because if I perish, I perish. I'm going to see that King. I'm making preparation. Hallelujah. Who say that you ain't here for this time? Esther, who say you ain't here for this time? Do you think you're going to escape? You and your father's house going to die. And people think, hallelujah, that they here because of their own. Everybody's here at a point in time. You here for a point in time. You here for a point in time. You here for a point in time. You think you here? You here for a point in time. What you here for a point in time? To hear this. See, God don't make no mistakes. Hallelujah. He'll strip you. The word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces you. It go to your bones. It go in the marrows. It knows the intent. It knows what's in your heart. It knows your thoughts right now. And I'm so glad. I'm so glad. 
I understand now. It's not about you, Jackson. You just in here. But it's not about you. Hallelujah. You got to bear the affirmities of the weak. Hallelujah. So I got to take on your burdens. And I got to put them on my shoulder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you is weak at this time. And when you're weak at this time, them that are spiritual strong, I have to come and I have to take shoulder. I have to lift them up. Hallelujah. Because he's weak. And I got to carry the cross. It's not about me. I got to carry his affirmity. I have to curry your affirmative. Wake up there. I have to curry your affirmative. In the name of Jesus, I have to take it. Hallelujah to God. When God, when God let my wife struck with stroke twice, I have to curry her. I have to take her burdens. I have to wash her. I have to clean her. I have to bathe her. I have to bring her to church. Because she's weak now. But I'm strong. I got to pick her up and bring her. Uh, that's what you got to do. Uh, you got to take the fermentation uh, of the weak. Uh, you got to be hallelujah. You got to be strong. He called him on that Sunday. You got to pick up people. You got to let them know uh, that you are God's shoulder. Uh, you got to put the cross. Uh, no cross. Uh, no crown. Uh, hallelujah. We are helpers. I'm coming on now. I'm sorry. I got a little excited. I got beside myself. The Holy Ghost kicked in. It's not about us. It's not about you. It's not about you. All of us, Holy Ghost feel, our blood sisters and brothers. Hallelujah. We blood sisters and brothers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We got to carry somebody else's cross. Hallelujah. You'll be all right, baby. You're going to be all right. See, sometimes uh, burden gets so heavy on you, bro. It gets so heavy on you, like you can't move, uh, and you look for help, uh, and you look to your right, you look to your left, you look for help. Uh, do we need, uh, we need saints uh, to come and be a helper of us, uh, on one another. Uh, hallelujah. I, uh, when I'm a helper of you, uh, hallelujah. Uh, understand this is right. Uh, when I take your infirmities uh, and put on my body uh, and carry you, I feel your pain. So if I feel your pain, I can't talk about it because I'm carrying it. See, I'm carrying your pain. It's hard to talk about something that you're carrying. So, so I can't say how I feel. I know how I feel. See, I know. I know what you're going through. I know how I feel, baby. I know how I feel. See, you don't have to, you don't have to, you don't have to actually be the one that does suffer, but if you carry the pain of the one, you feel the suffering pain. Then you look at each other in the eye, you say to my God, my God. See, something to kick in. Mercy kick in. You know what I mean? Mercy kick in when you look at the individual because you're taking their pain. You say, oh my God, they really suffering. Really? That's why you can't get mad at people. You don't know. See, you don't know what people go through. See, they're looking at us. They're looking at us, but don't really know. See, they, really, they don't really know. We going through. <laughs> and it look like the more you serve the Lord, like the worse it gets. <laughs> I 
It's all right that sometimes it runs in your mind say, why me? And people say, why not you? <laughs> Hallelujah. But take that from of your burden. You, are, you won't answer that no more. You won't say that no more. We say that Jesus took it, but none of us in here is Jesus. None of us is Jesus in here. <laughs> See, it's a difference. We, Jesus was an example, but Jesus had no sin. We got sin. So it's a big difference. It's not about us. It's not about you. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's why you got to go and tell somebody else to say, go and tell the people and she's saying, pray for me. That I might go boldly to the king. And when I go to the king, I'm not going to king for myself. I'm going for the king for the whole Jew nation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Pat. It's going to come a time, baby, that you have to stand alone for a true vine not to start a church. You got to stand, baby. Where it look like all the nominations, all churches around you. And they say, you go to that Bishop Jackson, that Terry Jackson, Bishop Dane Jackson's son. You go over there to the people, holler that do this and do that. You can't do this and can't do that. You have to stand for yourself. You're going to be a speckler. Hallelujah to God. You'll be talked about. Hallelujah. You got to forsake all. And the Bible say, the Bible says, if you want to be my, my disciple, you got to forsake your mother. You got to forsake your father. You got to forsake your sister. You got to forsake your brother and also your wife. See, you got to forsake all huh? to be this Christian journey, to be holy, to be with God. You can't have no respectable person. Huh? You got to have a loose garment. Yes, if mama don't go, bye-bye mama. If daddy don't go, bye-bye daddy. If wife don't go, goodbye wife. Yes. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to go. Hallelujah. But I here to let you know it's not about me. I'm going to stand right here and I'm going to put on the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. Because I know I'm not wrestling against flesh and blood. I'm wrestling against principality, power, spiritual weakness in high places. And Paul said, if i done all that I did, stand in the house. Hallelujah. You resist the wiles of the devil. Hallelujah. Them firing dots. Hallelujah. Take the shield of faith. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, you gotta put your breastplate on. Uh, hallelujah. Put your foot shield of preparation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, after you got all that on, uh, grab the sword, uh, which is the word of God. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, you carry that word with you. And uh, uh, when the devil come in like a flood, uh, the Bible say the spirit of the Lord uh, will lift up a standard against him. Uh, hallelujah to God. Uh, because it's all about Jesus. Uh, it's about him giving him the glory. Huh? About him giving them the honor. Huh? Cause you got to understand. Huh? I'm just like David. Huh? If it had not been huh? for the Lord who was on my side. Huh? I've been swallowed up. Huh? I could have been dead and gone. Huh? Sleeping in my grave. Huh? But I thank God. Huh? It wasn't about me huh? when I came here this morning. Huh? It wasn't about me huh? when I clapped my hands. Huh? It wasn't about me huh? when I paid the organ. Huh? It wasn't about me. It's about God. Huh? Give him the glory. Huh? Give him all the honor. Huh? I'm a precious name huh? at all times. Huh? And his praises huh? shall continually huh? be in my mouth. Huh? We got the boast in the Lord. Huh? Come on. Huh? Let us exalt his name huh? together. Huh? Lord have mercy. It's not about you. It's not about you. I got to go. If any man want to be the disciple, he got to deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No cross, no crown. Come on, give God a praise. <laughs> Let
thank God. I'm not going to go no further. I'm ready to preach now. I done got my second wind. I'm ready. Because I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's power to the believers. It's the power of God. It's the power of God that I'm here. Hallelujah. I'm a witness for the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Anybody been an alcoholic and delivered? Anybody been a drug addict and been delivered? Anybody been on the corner and been delivered? Oh, y'all ain't talking to me. I was a man, I was a man. I was a man. Hallelujah. You want anything? Call Jack. Call Jack. Oh, Jack, you want anything? Call Jack. Hallelujah to God. I got you. I supply you. I take care of you. Hallelujah to God. But call. Now, if you need Jesus, call Jack. Call Jack. Uh, see, see, I once was blind, but now I see. Uh, hallelujah. I was in a mock and mar. Uh, I was in a devil den. Uh, I was drinking and smoking, uh, hanging on the street, fornicating, doing everything with the devil had me to be. Uh, but one day I heard a voice from the Lord. Uh, Come all ye that are labored and heavy laden, uh, and I will give you rest. Uh, the day you hear my voice, uh, heart not so hot. Uh, when I heard the man say, repent. Uh, and be baptized uh, every one of you uh, in the name of Jesus uh, for the remission of sins uh, and you shall uh, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost uh, my spirit got up and I got to run it uh, cause I got tired uh, I got tired uh, waking up high I got tired waking up drunk uh, I got tired waking in somebody else's bed I got tired of that. I was miserable. Hallelujah. I thought I was having a good time. Hallelujah. I thought I had a good time. Hanging around with that dope. That angel dust. LSD. Black beauty. You got the right preacher. Hallelujah. See, you can't fool an alcoholic. I know I'm coming on in. I'm coming on in. I said, what? See, one thing about it. I heard them say, go in the hedges and highway and compel them to come because the table is spread. Hallelujah. Go out there. Go get them drugs out of here. Go get them prostitutes. Go get them on the street corner. Them homeless folks. Because these folks is educated, high-class folks don't want to serve me. Maybe I get somebody who's been through something. Hallelujah to God. Uh, anybody had a Mickey in their drink? <laughs> Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. We could have died. Hallelujah, Sister Tinsley. I could have died. Hallelujah. In my seat. Hallelujah. But thanks be to God. He let me live. Oh, God. The devil, the devil thought he had me. But I heard somebody say, somebody prayed for me and had me on their mind. My mama prayed for me. My daddy prayed for me. My grandmama prayed for me. Hallelujah. And Jesus prayed for me that my faith Feel not, huh? but I hold on huh? to God's unchanging hand. Huh? I am a new creature in Christ. Huh? Behold all things. Huh? How they became new. Huh? I am a new man. Huh? The way I walk, huh? I walk different. Huh? I got a swag, huh? but it's different. Huh? It's a holy swag. Huh? I don't hang out huh? in the alcohol den no more. Huh? My bed huh? is undefiled huh? in the name of Jesus. Uh, Y'all about to leave, 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 leave this young man alone. I wear you out. I got my sucker win. Yes, I sweat all night. Hallelujah. I'm just like Paul. 
Paul preached. Uh, he preached all night. Uh, the man fell for the roof and died. Uh, he went down there and prayed him. Uh, brought him back to life. Uh, you die, I bring you back to life. I still hear me preaching. What you talking about, Bishop? Uh, you can sit right in here and you can fall asleep. Uh, when you wake up, I'm still in your face preaching. I know y'all got a time limit. I ain't got no time limit. I know. Take your watch. Where my mine go at? I took it off. Turn that around. I feel all right, Sister Richardson. You know I mean, God been good to me. See, 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 you looking at folks that been in the world. When you look at us, we've been in the world. You see, we's a witness for the Lord. I can call anybody up here to the witness stand. They can tell you something. See? Go back to the more churches. I don't even care. You know what I, mean? I understand. If God found favor in you, he add to the church daily. See? Every church have a found favor by God. See, Satan is the housekeeper. See, preachers is limited to the law. The reason why they're limited to the law because they don't want to preach the whole gospel because their wife and children in it. When God called me, he didn't call Paulette. He called me to preach to Paulette. I want y'all to understand this. Sometimes you think I'm preaching, I'm preaching to her too. I have to preach to her and all of y'all at the same time. That's right. Why you didn't pull me to the side? Because sometimes y'all don't listen to man. Very good, see? Why you didn't pull me to the side and talk to me? Because sometimes y'all don't listen to man. So that's why I say you can't take nothing personal. Yes, sir. Because if I went to you as an individual, you would have took it from man. But when God speak it, then you have to answer to him. See, you obey God before you obey man. But even though man is saying it, but you know the Lord, the, so you'll know the Lord telling me this. How about leave that alone? And see, sometimes, I'm just saying this, I, I, I'm a real preacher. I'm real. And sometimes they say, you throw your family under the bus. They are under the bus. They are spectacular for the world. The first family is a spectacular to the church. Sometimes my wife says, you could have told me that home. You want to listen to me because I told you home. So God has to tell you sometime. Y'all understand that? Do you understand that? So don't take it personal because sometimes God has to tell you. Then when the Norton, the Holy Ghost bear speak the spirit to the spirit. Witness to the spirit. When, when you say that's the spirit, then you go home. Then you, even though you might, ee, 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 then you say, oh, I know I better leave that alone. See? Because sometimes if love, your husband can tell you something, you, you, won't, you won't listen to it. But when God tells you, the same thing your husband told you. Because he has to keep the house in order. So don't even think that somebody is throwing a bug in somebody's ear. Because somebody in the palace had to go tell Mordecai. And Mordecai had to tell somebody in the palace.
So somebody was in the palace to come and tell Mordecai what was going on. Even though people is in the palace, they still don't know what's going on. So Mordecai sent a message to Esther and told Esther what was going on inside the palace. Because Esther didn't know it, and she was in there. See, you could be in this church and still don't know. So nobody's telling on somebody else. Somebody has to tell Mordecai so Mordecai can tell Esther. Then Esther would say, if I perish, I'll perish. Y'all do, y'all. I know what I'm doing. I'm preaching here. I'm preaching here. I'm, 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 I'm preaching here. I'm holding go push me. I'm preaching here. Because it's not about you. It's not about you, boo-boo. If God didn't put you here, how did your children get here? I love my daughter. I love her. I love my daughter. And I pray that God bless her. But sometimes single parents, it's a struggle. It's a struggle. I look at her, it's a struggle. So I overlook a whole lot of things that she do, but she's still here. And she's trying to raise her children. Her children is here. Ain't home. They ain't home. You cast stones, but it's your children here. Oh, yeah, you, you I, oh, oh, I'm preaching. I'm preaching, bro. I'm preaching. Tight what is right. My children is in here. Paulette, my wife. My oldest daughter. My baby daughter. Next to my oldest son. My baby boy. My middle boy. My oldest son is in North Carolina. My other daughter in at Abundance Life. And all of them saved. And guess what? They are working with us. Look up, my wife, my daughter, they is working with me. With us. Boy, y'all say what you want to say. They might not be perfect in your eyes, but they're working with us. Your son's with you. See, that's, that's, see, that's volume, bro. That's me, volume. Now I understand how my daddy felt when I came home. Now, don't get me wrong. All the morning, you know, there was some, there was some, there was some, there was a piece of work. They were all within the church. But they came in. And why they came in? Because you had to be a standard for the Lord. It's not about you. Come on, give God a praise in here. I'm done. You got to do. God is good. The doors of the church. Before I leave, anybody want to join the church? The doors of the church is open. You know what I mean? For everybody to come up. They want to be baptized in Jesus' name. We thank God for you. In the name of Jesus. God is good. Tell your neighbor. It's not about you.
Let us be dismissed. May the Lord watch between me and thee, for I be absent, one from another. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace be unto you. It's not about you.